Double busy, do do do, getting busy, do 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 do. Yo yo yo, what's up, what's up, it's me, it's me, the Double Busy. We are going to start a new adventure of Viking Conquest, involving Ronvalder of House Tronda and Trindheim. We're going to call it Trindelagdor, the Bjørninator. Let us tell a tale of Vikings, Norse warriors from the cold Northlands of Trindheim, in the duchy or the Jarldom of Trindelag. Chieftain Ron Vialder of Trindheim was 37 years old and had a son named Rolfer, or quite possibly Rollo. Now this is not the historic Rollo, because he is House Thronde. The chief was a wrathful man, virtuous to us Atruans, also brave in battle, but quite arrogant. Now this story is not about the chief, but we need the chief to access the man that this story is about. Let us begin Trendelagdor, the Bjørninator. The chief is a wrathful, brave, and arrogant man, a thrifty clerk, a good Norse Viking indeed. But this story is about one of his courtiers, a man known as Rollo. Now, Rolfer, or Rollo, or someday known as Robert, is the man who will found the House of Normandy in the Duchy of Normandy. His heirs will become the rulers of England someday. Rollo is an honorable man and will fight for no one else save his liege. He is a champion, a Viking knight, and he is a council member. Our target, the County of Ruin. In the Duchy of Neustria, which will someday become Normandy, in the Kingdom of Francia. But it will take time, patience, and effort to amass the troops that we need in order to launch an invasion. For the French armies are strong and growing stronger. Upwards of four to six thousand troops will be at King Charles's disposal. So we must wait for the opportune time. We must watch him closely and we must watch the County of Ruin closely and strike when the iron is hot. I shall educate my two eldest sons, myself, Rolfer, already in line to be a good steward, and Tori, not yet old enough to choose an education, so we'll keep an eye on him, and when he gets a little bit older, we'll be able to help him choose his path. I have also taken three concubines. First, Hild, an excellent marshal, a brilliant strategist, and a forest fighter, helpful for us in our forest mountains. Asa, also a decent marshal with some stewardship skills. She is Midas touched. And last, but certainly not least, Mare who simply was the least sneaky of the remaining women available. As a wrathful, brave, and arrogant chief who has decent prowess on the battlefield, I must be ready for war at any time. I will lead my own troops into battle. As my right-hand man, Rolfer, shall educate my younger sons, Halad, and Einar. Our tribe can always use great warriors and champions, so my youngest, Rolog, will be trained by Hilde. Hopefully he will become a brilliant strategist like her. Rolf and Sturla are excellent champions, but the rest are nowhere near as good as I am. So we shall invite more. Send the Herald. We'll need more than simple levies to take over these lands, so a regiment of bowmen shall be at my disposal. I am obviously not Valdemar's favorite person, but he is the most learned man in our realm, and he shouldn't be that busy keeping himself happy. So I'll appoint him as my court physician to take care of me in case I shall fall in battle. 
my chancellor shall focus on foreign affairs, such that I may gain the prestige I need to attract more warriors. Rolfer will organize my levies in order to make them larger and reinforce at a faster rate. My spy master will find secrets in the court of Chieftain Bjorn, for which I wish very much to get his daughter married to one of my sons in order to form a protective alliance. My steward shall collect taxes, such that I need money to attract champions, and my godi will work on religious relations to keep me close to the gods. I do not need to fabricate a claim, for I may attack and subjugate anyone I wish. These are dangerous times, and alliances will be needed if we are to survive. Chieftain Sverker of Angamanland has a newborn daughter, and he's willing to betroth her to my son in a matrilineal marriage. My youngest son, Rolog, is fifth in line for any titles. Chieftain Amit of Rumala is also willing to do the same. At two alliances, I think I'll wait there, for a third alliance might be too unwieldy. Splendid news, Alva agreed to be my wife, and of course she did, for she could see the greatness in me, and she understands how we could accomplish great things together. Jarl Bjorn of Jomtland would not accept my betrothal proposal from my son, my eldest son, and his daughter. He does not have a high opinion of my son, and he believes that that would be marrying down. So, we will be declaring war with our allies to take his land and show him who the rightful ruler is. The nearby chiefs don't think I'm famous enough to take over the Jarldom, so I'll simply have to suffice for the Earldom of Yomplin. With my two allies, we should be able to take this territory for our own. I assemble my troops in the mountains as I await word from my allies. He sends his troops east. My allies have met Jarl Bjorn in combat in their territory. I only hope I can get there soon enough. My other allies are coming in from the ocean as we speak. Jarl Bjorn foolishly chases my ally around as I lay siege to his home castle. Vigu of Arieti decided to raid, and now Jarl Bjorn's soldiers got caught on the way home, trying to rescue their people. We have won the siege and taken prisoners. Now we are doing very well. Little remains of Jarl Bjorn's armies, so there is nothing left to do but capture his remaining tribal lands. Another siege won, more prisoners taken, and now for the final mop-up of his remaining soldiers. Jarl Bjorn frantically moves his men through the mountain passes, trying to escape our troops. But we will catch him. Let the battle for Jomtland begin! Huzzah! We are victorious! completely wiping their troops and getting our 100% war score. Now I can enforce my demands on the Jarl and take his precious county. I'll see you on the next episode of Viking Conquest involving Ranvalder and his faithful marshal and champion, Rolo. Double busy, do-do-do, getting busy, do-do-do-do-do.